Okay, first we'll start off with the cholinergic neurotransmission. You see here, this is the first picture. It's got AMC theaters and a little baby covered in peanut butter. And the initials AMCPB help me remember the direct acting muscarinic agonist, which is acetylcholine, methylcholine, carbocol, pilocarpine, and bethanicol. I realize there's more drugs than the ones I put in the category, but these are the main ones that I'm supposed to learn. The next one is the indirect acting muscarinic agonist, and I have a picture of the logo for the New England Patriots and a ref signaling touchdown. The initials are P N E P T D, which I chose these and I chose these pictures because I was thinking of a fan cheering for their favorite team, saying, "Please, New England Patriots, score a touchdown." So it's Physostigmine, Neostigmine, Edrophonium, Peridostigmine, Tacrin, and Denepazil. The next one is a muscarinic antagonist, and I have a picture of an A and a pig because the initials A, P, I, G, and an S um, help me remember the muscarinic antagonist. So we have atropine, propantholine, ipitropium, glycopyrrolate, and scopolamine. Then we have the neuromuscular blocking agents, and I was thinking neuromuscular, something that can uh, bind muscles, you know. So here is Katy Perry with her arms tied up above her head to help me remember neuromuscular. And if you think of a strap that, you know, you can strap somebody up, strap somebody down, you have S T R A and a P. So that there's no A, but that's STRP, succinylcholine, tubucurarine, rocuronium, and pancuronium. And the last section would be the ganglionic antagonist, trimethophan, and mecamelamine. And I just used a trademark sign. Drew a little three there to help me remember to do the, um, to remember that the T stands for trimethophan. Okay, on to sympathetic agonists. As you know, sympathetic agonists are split into alpha agonists and beta agonists. So I started with norepinephrine and epinephrine. You go, um, these there are in the middle because they affect both alpha and beta receptors. If you go over to the right, you have isopraternal, which is a general beta agonist. Um, you go below and there's the beta 2 agonists. Albuterol, metoproternal, and terbutaline. On the left, you have the beta 1 agonist, which is dopamine and dobutamine. And the picture I have is this girl pointing at her double D's because the initials um, you have ipitropium, you have albuterol and metoproternal, um, and the double D's. So I thought it was I, this girl is saying, I am double D's. And um, the terbutaline is left out here because I added that in after the graphic was done. Alright, we go back to norepinephrine. You go to the alpha ones. You have a little kid taking a pee. And he's saying, me pee pee. I don't know if that's clear or not. And the drugs are methoxamine, phenylephrine, and pseudo pseudoephedrine. You take a... Uh, you go down to Alpha 2's, you have a picture of Marissa Miller who was the cover girl for Sports Illustrated and cover girl is important because CG is the Alpha 2 agonist in clonidine and guanabins. Now we'll go to the sympathetic antagonist. We'll start with the beta antagonist, it's propanolol is a general beta antagonist. We go to the selective beta 1 antagonist and you see here there's three ATMs with dogs and the drugs are atenolol, timolol, and metoprolol, metoprolol and so I just think of these three dogs named atenolol, timolol, and metoprolol going for an ATM. Okay now we go to the alpha antagonist we have the competitive antagonist here it's a picture of a pregnancy test that is positive. Pregnancy test PT. It's phentolamine and tolazoline. 
And the non-competitive, you go up here and there's another alpha one, it's phenoxybenzamine. Anyways, you go to the alpha one block blockers and you have a radio. And these are, remind me of push to talk. And the drugs are prazosine, terazosine, and tamulosin. Tamsulosin, sorry. Alright, now you go to the alpha two. There's Yohimbine. I took the Yahoo symbol and um, just stuck Yohimbine. Yohimbine is often used for erectile dysfunction, and the Yahoo symbol always looked like a happy logo to me, so that's what that is. Alright, so this is just an example of how I've started to do pharmacology this year. I've started just with the basic drugs, and then I'll proceed to do um, more detailed notes, but at this point, it's just so that I can sort out where the what the drugs are and uh, what what they do. So I hope you all enjoyed a little look at how I've been studying this year.